Welcome back guys. So here we are to talk about service letter 72 ignition module firmware update. Uh, we're going to get right into it. This is going to be a really short one. So uh, I want to demonstrate the problem first. Uh, master on lane A and B on, fuel pump on. Uh, that's the typical startup procedure. Especially in the summertime you want to start that fuel pump early, get that fuel flowing through the veins. Uh, so the GA3X is starting up. I want to go over to the engine uh, screen and show you the main bus voltage. There we go, it's 13.6. Now, the ignition module sends, uh, temp temporarily, it sends power to the ECU from the main bus. Uh, this is just to run the ECU uh, before the engine starts. Once the engine starts, then the engine itself will provide power to the ECU on its own. Um, has no need for the master, the, the main bus. Uh, the issue is that the ignition module needs some way to determine when the engine is running. So it does that by looking at the voltage and saying, okay, well, it's above a threshold for one minute. So now I'm going to disconnect the main bus from the ECU. And there you just saw that the lane A and B lights went out and the fuel pump died, although the lights are still on. Uh, two ways around this, you can either flip that EMS battery back up and restore power temporarily. Uh, you can start the engine and just make sure you... Uh, turn that switch off when you're uh, running, or you can simply cycle the, the master switch. Uh, that's why this is a service letter. You guys don't have to do this. Uh, it's just a, it's you know, it, it's just a, a small annoyance. So we're going to get right to it. Uh, the instructions are uh, basically to remove the G3X on the pilot side, remove the ignition module, and then remove the uh, the Arduino Nano uh, chip that's on the back of it. Uh, if you've never uh, is, you know, a lot of my videos are geared towards um, people who have bought the RV12. If you've built the RV12, this is um, probably boring to you. Uh, although sometimes it's nice to watch people work. Uh, but uh, here we are removing uh, the G3X, four screws around the perimeter there, and four screws for the ignition module. Uh, one D sub connector on the back of each of them. You guys love it when I walk around the hangar with uh, the camera on the, the part in hand, so I'm going to do that right here for you. It's kind of a cool effect. Um, so, uh, you know, this problem really only occurs after you've performed the HIC module replacement, which was a service bulletin uh, last year, service bulletin 58. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what on the HIC, the new HIC module changed to... Uh, create this problem. Uh, there were a couple uh, a resistor added and a ground connection added to the new HIC module, uh, but in the end, the, the you know the end result is that this was a maybe an unintentional bug introduced by the factory. Uh, luckily, it's not a big deal to replace. So we have removed the old Arduino Nano chip. Here's the new uh, the new chip. I'm calling it a chip. It's actually a little circuit board. Uh, the new part, you can see the part number, uh, ES16-7.3. You can order that from the Vans Aircraft uh, store. You do have to log in first to prove that you are an RV12 owner. Um, same size, same pins, same everything. Uh, just the firmware on that chip that you see there has been updated. The factory has painted an orange um, dot at pin 1 there. Make sure the orange dot is in the up position. When you plug that in, that's about how much pressure it takes to push that uh, circuit board in. And you use as much, much hot glue as you want. The factory's picture shows a whole bead there across that top line. Um, can't have too much. So now we're going to reinsert the ignition module into the aircraft. I'm going to uh, hyperspeed this because you've uh, probably done this a million times if you're a builder. Uh, but it's the exact opposite of removing it. You may have noticed that I have silver um, uh, hex cap head screws holding in my G3X. I found that my black anodized screws were rusting, so uh, I replaced them with, I think they're aluminum screws. Um, they're not strong, of course, but uh, they don't rust. So, and uh, this is more of a cosmetic thing than anything else. But uh, there we go. The service bulletin is, or service letter is done at this point. We're going to power on and uh, just wait a minute to see if uh, the bad behavior has been corrected. Master on, lanes on, fuel pump one on.
hopefully we still have the same uh, battery voltage level as we had before to do a true test. That looks about right. 13.6 was definitely over the, uh, the threshold that was set in the old firmware. I would definitely recommend performing that service bulletin 58, uh, replacing the HIC module. Uh, in one of my older videos, you'll see me uh, talk about being stuck on an island uh, because of some janky connections uh, to that module. So that's been about a minute there. I'm going to call this one a success. In my next video, I'm going to do the Oshkosh RV-12 paint review. Yeah, you see how that voltage drops pretty quickly? 13.6 down to 13.4 now, just from running by uh, for a minute or so. But I'm going to call this one uh, solved. And I would uh, recommend that you do this. It's only a $20 part, and it takes you maybe half an hour at most to uh, perform the whole thing. Start to finish. Biggest challenge was finding the correct Allen key. So until next time, keep the brown side down.